Hey Cancer, how are you? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra. Um, I apologize for being gone. I had to deal with some family things. Uh, we also launched a new content house here in Las Vegas called Mix It Up Ranch. So that Instagram is below in the description box. Make sure you follow us. Um, so a content house, we're here for content creators. If you guys are in the Vegas area and you're looking for somewhere to film, make sure you check us out. We also do events, any kind of event. Um, we have a really expansive backyard that um, the previous owner was a uh, worked on production sets, film production sets. So the backyard is phenomenal, um, but really great for events. We have a full recording studio. So if you're in the Vegas area, be sure to hit us up. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you uh, subscribe. If at any time cancer this reading resonates with you, go ahead and hit the like button so that we can have that exchange of energy. Please keep in mind the energy is fluid. So you may find that this reading resonates with you in the past. It may be what's going on currently or some of this energy may be coming towards you as you proceed on this journey here on earth. Um, if you're interested in personal reading, those uh, links are in the description box. This is going to be for cancer, any placement, it's August, but again, time is an illusion. So let's go ahead and get started. Mother, Father, God, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, Thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for cancer in regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perception into what karmic cycles and soul lessons they may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, in all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray. Amen. All right, let's see. You have Moonstone. Live your purpose. All right, Cancer, live your purpose. And then on the bottom, you have Selenite. Clear the clutter. I love Selenite. I put Selenite, I have one here right here, my tower. But I also, I put Selenite on the top of all of the door jams in my house, windowsills, um, doorways, you know, all of that stuff. Um, it's a great protection stone. It, it, it like prevents... It helps absorb and prevent negative energy from being able to come into your space. Um, and that's why it says clear the clutter. So I feel like right now, Cancer, I don't think things are going bad per se. But I feel like you are trying to figure out if you are aligned. Are you living the life that you want to live? Or, you know, there's always going to be... There's always going to be ebbs. There's always going to be little issues, right? Tests that we need to deal with all throughout life. The difference between just being aligned and still dealing with tests and being unhappy is that when you're aligned, you're not unhappy. You're able to, when the tests come, it's no big deal. But if you are feeling like you're not living the life that you wanna live, if you feel like there's something that's still missing, um, and this has to do with your purpose. Maybe some of you are struggling with figuring out exactly what it is you wanna do in life, right? Uh, maybe some of you feel like you're in the wrong career or you know, just not living the way or up to par that you want to. Spirit is saying that you need to clear out anything that confuses you, and that can be people. It can be people, it can be places, it can be things, it can be your own thoughts, but there is something around you that is cluttering your space and making it hard, I'm seeing, for you to navigate in the realms of your mind. There seems to be a lot of um, padding, like you're bouncing off of one thing to the next, but you're not, you're not just going. Once you clear out all that clutter, anything that confuses you is not from God. I live by that. If, if something brings me confusion, it's not from God. I can't make a decision on it right now. I can't commit to that right now because right now it's not from God. Communication is key. All right, new moon in Gemini. So again, 
let's go into our thought realm. It's like I said, it looks very um, cluttered up there. Maybe you're not expressing what it is you want or need in a specific situation. Maybe you're not doing it to the universe with God. You're not being very clear and concise about what you're looking for, what you want. If you're wanting clarity on something, you have to speak that to the universe with force. I need clarity. I, I'm at a point, I've reached a point. Remember, we have to ask for help. It, it, it's not just handed out. We have, we have to take the initiative and the action, okay? Your hard work is paying off, see? So as you put in the work, things are paying off for you, um, especially if you focus on your communication, truthful communication. Messages, please, for cancer. Thank you. Show the world the real you. All right. So see, you do feel like you might not be fully aligned um, in your purpose right now. And that's because you're still hiding aspects of yourself for fear of what others think. You have to get out of that energy because what what a mortal, what a human thinks of you means nothing in the grand scheme of things. They don't determine the life that God has planned for you, Cancer. And so you have to show the world the real you come out of your shell. The bottom of the deck, it's interesting because you have two Aquarius cards here. Um, full moon in Aquarius and new moon in Aquarius. So I don't know if you're dealing with an Aquarius, but um, bring love into the situation. So when you're able to see something from a higher perception, which is love, that's a higher perception, without conditions... It can help you release any blockages that you have. It can help you clear out that clutter. All right, Cancer, let's see. Six of Swords is your current energy. In the recent past, you have the sun. Your current energy is the seven of pentacles. Outside energy is the emperor. Your challenge is the king of pentacles. Your next steps of action is the seven of wands and the outcome is, ooh, the nine of swords. Why are you worried? I see that you may have left something recently. You walked away from something or you, you may have traveled. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Hermit, the High Priestess. What's going on here? So there seems to be rushing into some type of a new love or new abundance, something that definitely interests you. This is unconditional love, this cup. But I see some type of new communication, things happening pretty fast, happening pretty quickly. And then as quick as they happen, is as quick as it goes silent, because you have the hermit. But it's interesting, the silence card, because then you have the high priestess. There's like a higher knowing. It's like you, there's a silence that takes place after something because you need to address it with the divine. You're bringing God into a situation. At least that's what it looks like here. Something's triggered you. Something has triggered you to want to be and do better. In a, I don't know if that's just for yourself or in a specific, I think it's just for yourself. Not, you know, one specific situation may have triggered you or sparked it, but it's like, I feel you're very focused on aligning here. All right, so Six of Swords, please, for current energy. You're walking away from anything that's toxic. It's taking you time, though. Here you are, Seven of Pentacles, because that's what you're showing up as. Things take time. You're waiting for something to grow. You may be taking a break from something as well. It's like whatever you've planted the seeds on, they're almost ready to harvest, but not quite. Yeah. You're being a patient magician here. You may have invested a lot of time into something and you're starting to see the benefit. Two of Wands. I think that you, it's interesting because you definitely walked away from something, but yet you're still at a Two of Wands here. You're still at a crossroads. There's an investment, a manifestation that you've been working on 
Then you have the King of Cups, Page of Swords, Four of Yeah, but you're not ready to make a move yet. You're not ready to make a move yet, but you had to, you had to, what's the word, spirit? So you have a plan in place, Cancer, and you're still moving forward. Nothing's getting in the way of that plan. But along the way, you had to cut some things off. You realize like, oh, okay, I'm still moving forward, but this has to go. So now you're kind of at a crossroads because you're wondering what's going on. If there's going to be more that arises that needs to be dealt with, is this going to cause more issues? All right. In the recent past, you have the sun. There was a lot that was illuminated to you. Some of you may have learned something here with the sun. When the sun comes out, it means all things that happen in dark come to light. All right. So there was a lot of things that were made clear to you um, in the recent past. Yeah. The hermit. Something was illuminated inside of you. This is deep spiritual healing. So you may have been isolated when, when you received this clarity. It may have been divine guidance. Here you are. It happened very quickly. I feel like you were going through some type of rapid ascension and it had to do with an ending or closing out something. And it caused you to just dive into yourself. Ooh, it was closing out karma. You have the devil there, Capricorn. Yeah. Yep. You were trying to end a toxic cycle here. Whatever was going on in the dark, whatever evil, whatever, you know, evil, take it or leave it. But there was karmic energy here with the devil and the sun came in. I don't think that the darkness expected you to look within yourself. Hmm. It's interesting though, because I see you not wanting to move. Like I see you again, running from the toxicity. I see something being illuminated to you, but I still feel like this devil is still somehow attached to your energy. Clarify the seven of pentacles, please. You're still working on it. That's what you're waiting for. That's what you're waiting for, Cancer. It's like you're waiting for something um, to be fully released, fully healed, fully closed out before you make a move on whatever this is that you have your eye on, right? Communication is key. Hard work is paying off. Live your purpose um, and clear the clutter. It's all making sense. You're, you want to make a move on something or this could even be somebody wants to make a move on you. Because I see you are just in like waiting energy here with the seven of pentacles. You're waiting. But while you're waiting, you're working on yourself. You're going within yourself. Clarify the seven of pentacles. Like I said, you're working on yourself. You're becoming enlightened. You actually kind of like the silence. You like the peace. You like being alone. You're discovering new things, not just about yourself, but the universe. I mean, I'm going deep with this. That's what Spirit is showing me because I'm in the galaxies right now is where they're showing me. So like you're going deep. You're, you're really like trying to get to the purpose, right? But that's cancer, the mother sign. So I think that right now you're really thirsty for more spiritual wisdom. And so you're okay with this piece right now because you recognize how much it's helping you grow. Yeah, it's helping you grow with the strength card. You're learning how to control certain aspects of yourself, certain demons, um, certain beasts, okay? You are conditioning or you're going through a conditioning and that's why you're being patient. I think that you recognize that it's not time for you to make your move on a certain situation or if you aren't the, if somebody's wanting to make a move on you, whatever energy you've got going on right now, Cancer, it's, it's not like it's repelling people, but it's like spirit has divine protection over you right now because they see the work that you're doing. You're doing something that's very sacred you're aligning you're becoming divine like a divine feminine divine masculine yeah ten of wands you're going through all the things that have taken place in your life and you're getting ready to pick up from all of those traumatic situations and you're ready to take the swords out of your back you're turning them into wands and wands are about manifesting and creating so you're transmuting your pain um, into power right now yeah queen of cups that's what you're doing the outside energy around you is the emperor 
I do feel like this is divine protection on a high level. If I'm looking at it from the highest perception, this is making me feel like you have a team of spirit around you, okay, protecting you to keep you in place right now because the emperor is hard to move. And so I feel like you're just focused on building you, building your brand, whatever it is that you're, you know, creative well empress is creative but i feel like you've come past that empress stage here and so spirit is preparing you for the divine masculine stage of life which is where you really get into your business aspect and working your brand and building that empire right you are the 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 top shot in charge as above so below what you have sent up is now coming down that's why you're being protected clarify the emperor you may also have a divine counterpart that is around your energy two cards six of swords and nine of wands now that's interesting there's somebody who um sees the growth that you're going through sees the changes that you're making or vice versa you could be seeing them and the six of swords it's like you want to go back to this you're a little bit nervous about how you're going to be received i feel like this could be another person as well i feel like if this is cancer feminine somebody's coming towards you if you're a cancer f female I feel like something is coming towards you and if you're a cancer male maybe you want to go towards someone at least that's how it's showing to me on the table um but place the energy where it belongs there's somebody who wants to come back towards you but there's fear a little bit of fear a little bit of exhaustion based on what has happened in the past between the two of you and it may not have even been anything big it could have just been something small but see they have a little bit of a headache they're a little bit concerned about it They just, they, they, there's something about needing to clear the air. Someone's going back and forth on being truthful and honest about a situation here. That's why you have the nine of wands. There's could have been depression or somebody being upset about a separation between the two of you, or maybe you weren't talking to them. The reason why there was a disconnect is because I have the seven of swords here. There was lying. Something was hidden. Uh, somebody wasn't being truthful, betrayal, sneaky behavior, things of that nature. Okay. The challenge is the king of pentacles, commitment and stability. That's a challenge. Finances could be a challenge as well. Maybe somebody wants to be more stable. That could be what you're being patient on, why you're not making a move, because you're more focused on gaining your stability on your own. Clarify, please, the King of Pentacles. King of Swords. Yikes. So the challenge is somebody telling the truth about a certain investment or commitment somebody is not they're not speaking truthfully yeah tennis a betrayal an ending justice libra energy here so the challenge is the king of swords the ten of swords and libra so something ended here that that is the yeah then you have the knight of pentacles and the queen of swords there was a betrayal in a particular situation, okay? It could be a relationship, um, partnership, however you want to view it. But I see that something ended. This was not an easy situation. Um, whatever it was, it was it was pretty deep. I feel like it's caused some arguments here because there's a lot of lying on the table. There's something that's being hidden here that's on the table. But the challenge was making things right or getting something right because um, justice is here and it's showing up as a challenge so it's like things could never really just be even right um, it, it was always off center it was always off balance and that was creating a major disconnect and inability to have this firm stable foundation or commitment or investment because truth wasn't being expressed the next steps of action is the seven of wands and then the nine of swords there's a lot of anxiety that's still showing up that is attached to this particular situation. I feel like that's why Spirit is saying communication is key. 
Um, there may be fear in regards to how people are going to receive your truth, okay? Um, and you may feel like you have a lot of different energies that are looking to you for something or counting on you for something or even you feel defensive towards them cancer like you feel like they you should have your guard up and that you feel the need to be defensive and protective towards these people and that's causing you a lot of anxiety maybe that's why you isolate there's an offer there's a love offer here Wow, that King of Pentacles, the challenge. So it could be an earth sign. You have Capricorn on the table and Virgo. So um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But this King of Pentacles comes back around with some type of offer, stability. And it seems to go really, really well. But for some reason, you, I don't know if there's an age difference or if you feel like it's not real, but it's showing up as a soulmate here with the Two of Cups. It's showing up as somebody that um, you may want to take a leap of faith with because you have an offer coming in from somebody who's very stable but i don't know why you have your walls up your guard up with this person could be a new person may not be the person that you're having a challenge with it could be this is a large collective <laughs> but i almost feel like it's going to be a missed opportunity because of the anxiety surrounding it alignment this is something that aligns with you. That's what Spirit's trying to say. Winter solstice. Okay, so something may have happened between you and this person. Winter solstice is December. So it could have been past December or it could be this upcoming December. Something happens uh, and that's when you'll meet this person. Relationship improvements. So you're going to start seeing your relationships improve. I'm telling you, you have a love offer here with a soulmate. Came out as two of cups. via phone so you may communicate with this person via the phone or you may start to see um, the improvements take place through a conversation okay they may be calling you texting you or vice versa yes all right the answer is yes you or this person could be a real busy person maybe they work a lot maybe they're addicted to work here you have harvest you had the number uh, seven of pentacles here twice you're waiting for your harvest and spirit is saying it's coming to you but make sure you clear out what you need to clear out and align yourself and live in your purpose, live in your truth. Don't be afraid to communicate and express who you truly are because that's how you get what you are truly looking for. All right, Cancer, I'm sending you guys much love. Bye.